What's up YouTube, Dbox here today. If you're a small channel like me, you want to listen up to this because this is big news, breaking news. YouTube just might kill your channel. Hello useless YouTuber, today we're announcing changes to YouTube partner programming. I'm your host SuperTube and if you're aspiring to be a successful YouTuber, I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. While our goals remain to keep the YouTube partner program open to as many channels as possible, we recognize we need more safeguards in place to protect the creative revenue across the YouTube ecosystem, aka we're not wasting money on your irrelevant channel. Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your channel, useless YouTuber number 5, is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with YouTube partner program on February 20th. 2018. Unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days, accordingly this email serves as 30 day notice that your YouTube partner program terms are TERMINATED. One of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone with the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. Creators who haven't reached this new threshold can continue to benefit from our Creator Academy, our Help Center, and all the resources on the creator site to grow your channels. Once your channel reaches the new threshold, it will be reviewed to make sure it adheres to our policies and guidelines, and if so, monetization will be re-enabled. What the fuck? Now with this information I just presented to you, this is... Interesting, you know, I don't know if this is because of net neutrality, the Logan Paul situation, or it's just YouTube just deciding to make a change. In my heart, it really hurts as a small YouTuber. I have one channel that has over a thousand subscribers and it's doing pretty well. The other channels, one is the Dean Luke Cinema channel where I talk about movies, mainly Star Wars, Marvel, DC films, but I also review other movies and TV here and there. And then there's this channel, which is the Dean Malek Real Lifestyle channel where I do fun skits, challenges, live gameplay. I just pretty much want this channel to be just a fun time. And knowing that YouTube's gonna take away my monetization and other features from my channel, it kind of hurts. But I can understand why? Actually, I don't understand why. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. But at the same time, there is this point where you could see it from a business perspective. Think of it as like a TV show that doesn't get any views, but it's still airing. It's kind of like a waste of money in a way. So is YouTube low-key disrespecting small channels just because they don't have a wide enough audience? On the positive side, this could be the incentive to give smaller YouTubers the drive to work harder to get that audience. And I guess it could help with clickbait thumbnails, but... I don't know. That's the other thing, man. I, I really don't like the idea of not being able to create my own thumbnail for my video. To be a thumbnail on your video truly sets the tone for what your channel represents. And having that ability taken away from you, I don't think that's fair, but hey, that's just me personally. I'm not making YouTube videos to make money. My gaming channel proves that I have well over a thousand subs, over a thousand videos. But then again, a lot of my videos were actually terrible when I started out. So that's probably why my growth has been like this when you look at my old videos they're just they're not good they're not good at all i'm always doing the d uh, uh, d uh, uh, uh. then i got these awkward pauses like <laughs> and i didn't know how to edit that out i was dumbfounded I, I i just did not think to edit those moments out of my videos so i think that hurt me in the long run so one of my big questions for YouTube, and you guys can help me out in the comment section down below, is with the revenue I've gained from my Demolex Cinema channel and my Demolex channel, do I still keep that revenue or does that go away? Because if it goes away, I'm gonna, that's going to piss me off. That's going to make me... <laughs> so I have two options. I can work harder on my Demolex Cinema channel and my Demolex channel, become eligible again for monetization, or just leave these two channels in the dust and grind out on my Demolex Gaming channel. But I don't want to do that. I love bringing variety to... YouTube. I don't like to talk about games. I like to talk about movies. And I just love having fun expressing myself on the internet, whether it be doing food challenges or honing my craft when it comes to film production. If you're a small channel, are you mad about this decision YouTube is making? Does this not bother you as much? Are you motivated to work even harder to build your audience? Or are you just saying, forget about it. I was in it for the money day one. I just think taking away that thumbnail feature, that really grinds my gears so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button it really helps me out subscribe for more content from me i'm dmlex awesome in the future